Yeah, thank you so much, Panos. Um, I'm very uh, delighted and thankful that um, I'm giving this talk. And also, I'm uh, more honored because uh, I was introduced by Professor Panos uh, Chiltras. So I'm going to talk about some uh, recent work from my group. Um, it's called a Neural Fly. Neural Fly is kind of brand name, but it's kind of a combination of um, machine learning methodology for um, feedback control of a drone so they can actually maybe uh, fight and deal with uh, like a wind-based disturbance better. Um, and um, I'm, in doing so, I'm going to actually also show some other research activities uh, from my research group. And it was recently published uh, in Science Robotics, um, 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 May, I think, um, in um, this year. So we hear a lot about this uh, AI machine learning these days. So uh, as you know, um, deep learning method uh, made a lot of exciting achievements in many decision-making uh, problems. So for example, you heard a lot about this AlphaGo uh, beat the human Go champion and solving some uh, complicated uh, kind of a video game and some other tasks, but it's actually done in a structured world. And there is no real dynamics. Dynamics to here, I refer to actual <laughs> dynamical systems, right? I mean, um, represented by uh, differential equations and like a physical dynamical system, whether we are talking about drones or moving, uh, walking humanoid or spacecraft, right? Actually, I do have a active spacecraft research lab, as you can see from my uh, background. I don't know if you can see my uh, picture there, uh, but I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I'm going to maybe uh, focus only on drone application, but also I'm doing so, I'm going to talk a little bit about theory. So the key distinction between kind of dynamical system and when you apply a machine learning technique or AI technique to uh, this kind of uh, dynamical system or, and then what's the contrast, what's the distinction between that kind of a system and like uh, previous examples of uh, AlphaGo and maybe more structured word. Really, the issue is the safety. I mean, the question is that if you have an uh, aircraft that, that's fully designed by AI, would you like to <laughs> fly in that airplane? I don't think so. I mean, you want to see the, some safety guarantees. Furthermore, let's assume that it's very well-made aircraft by maybe designed by humans and aided by computer uh, systems. Then would you like to uh, ride, ride on an airplane that's controlled by machine?